good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on heat transfer today we are going to discuss about the fouling factor see concept of fouling in heat exchanger that is concept of fouling factor in heat exchanger see fouling is a phenomenon of deposition of material on surfaces from the fluids in the form of scales that means scales are formed sometime after usage of heat exchanger some scales are formed inside the heat exchanger which will restrict the heat transfer so scales means uh, you know some kind of layers are formed because of the fuels itself fluids itself so these scales act as like a additional resistance which will which results in reduction in heat transfer the heat transfer is reduced so in the earlier uh, class we have taken one example for overall heat transfer coefficient so this is the double pipe heat exchanger you know one flu through one fluid one hot fluid is flowing and outside there is a cold fluid is flowing in the larger pipe both are in the same direction parallel flow arrangement hot fluid so ri resistance because of fluid convective resistance and wall because of this wall the heat transfer is restricted that is conduction resistance and r not that is convective resistance to the cold fluid convective resistance in the cold fluid so ri 1 by hii this is a convective resistance for the hot fluid r wall this is the conduction resistance for the cylinder for the cylinder the conduction resistance this wall is represented like this for a diagram purpose i have drawn something somewhat bigger this is the this wall this wall is a, this is the conduction resistance for the cylinder and the next one is r not r not means um, you know uh, outer resistance which is done which is created by convection of the cold fluid so it is 1 by h not a not so same example i am considering here also you so for the overall heat transfer coefficient you can write like this 1 by uy i is equal to 1 by u not a not and you know this combination of these three so in addition to these three you know 1 by hi ai one by hia convective resistance by the hot fluid and uh, next uh, you know conduction resistance by cylinder cylinder conduction resistance and uh, this is a uh, outer uh, convection resistance in addition to this one inside uh, inside inside uh, fouling is there that means uh, the scales are formed in the surface inside surface also so because of that some resistance is involved that resistance we call it as you know fouling resistance inside inside fouling resistance and outside fouling resistance outside fouling resistance and you know if ai is equal to pi d i l a not is equal to pi d not l it is a surface area r f i inside side fouling resistance outside fouling resistance 1 by u i a is equal to 1 by u not a not equal to 1 by h i a i plus r f i by a f a i same equation i have written here also for the unit purpose so u overall heat transfer coefficient watt per meter square kelvin area meter square same watt per meter square kelvin area meter square heat transfer coefficient watt per meter square kelvin and area meter square and this we don't have the unit for this log r not by r means it is meter by meter cancel one you know k watt per meter kelvin 2 pi is a constant l means meter plus we don't know units for this one and h means watt per meter square kelvin area meter square meter square meter square meter 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 square meter square meter square meter square meter square meter square get cancel and you'll get kelvin power watt kelvin power watt kelvin power watt kelvin per watt kelvin by watt hence rfi by ai equal to rf not by a not is also in kelvin by what because all the other parameters are in say kelvin by watt units if these two are also if these two are having different units they cannot be here so that's why these two are also say, having same units kelvin by watt so rf i r f i is equal to r f not equal to kelvin by watt and this a not or a i having same unit that is meter square meter square will come here so r f i r r f not is equal to kelvin meter square per watt and mostly Uh, fouling resistance is in the order of 0.0001 kelvin meter square per watt the last value may be changed to 3 or like that but the almost the fouling resistance is very very less it is in the order of 0.0001 kelvin meter square per watt thank you very much